days and weeks. And that has to be true during CES because you should see the nonsense that people get up to. For one, I mean, right now, Sean's missing. We don't know where the heck he is. Uh, he's uh, causing all kinds of trouble. He was running naked through the fountains before. But see, when we get back, he'll be his mild, meek, nice, you know, spiky-haired guy again. So we have to forgive him because he does a really good job on the show. But that's just between me and you, okay? Anyway, we'll see you soon. Well, I am here with one of my favorite tech geeks of all time, Doug Cooper from Intel. Now, Intel's got a whole new technology designed for the home theater uh, innovator, people that are building home theater consumer electronics, called Vive, right? Vive, right, absolutely. So, Doug, can you spell Vive for me? <laughs> V-I-I-V. So, and what is a Vive? What exactly is Vive? So, Vive represents a fundamental change in how entertainment's going to be enjoyed in the family room. And it's the recognition that now most of the entertainment that we enjoy, whether it's music, movies, pictures, they're all bits of ones and zeros. They're digital, they're computer consumable, and they can be sent over the internet. This is for, uh, we're, we're going to see not only your traditional computer manufacturers, but all kinds of consumer electronics companies enter into the market with Vive products. And it's going to come in all sorts of shapes that consumers are not used to seeing in the family room. So what's one of the very first products that I might buy with Vive inside? So what you're going to see is in Vive products, devices that are like a traditional consumer electronics, low profile, they sit probably on top of the TV, and I think probably the most striking benefit for the average consumer is that there are no other devices. The speakers, the Dolby digital surround sound connects right off the back of this device. The uh, Everything is driven by what we call a 10-foot user interface, it's all remote control driven. And uh, the device has multiple functions for you. Not only does it do your personal video recording, so you can pre-record off of a TV guide that shows that you want to watch. You can organize your pictures, your music, and you can enjoy that in the comfort of your family room. And it not only eliminates clutter, but it's actually the stepping stone to bringing entertainment throughout the home, which is really the vision here. So it's okay, sort of like so it would be a, the heart of a home ent entertainment system, starting in your living room, distributed throughout the house, powered by Intel using this new chipset you can calling Vive. Right. And Vive is, Vive is sort of a continuation of the philosophy we took with Centrino, and that was that everything that affects the experience that the consumer, we want the consumer to have, we need to have in some way uh, a touch point with. So that, in this case, it involved talking to entertainment content providers, people who in Hollywood own the rights to digital entertainment, so that we could not only uh, ensure that the best entertainment, premium quality entertainment, was available to consumer, but it looked the same on every Vive-based device, regardless of who manufactured it. And so Intel was heavily involved in bringing the industry together. We were heavily involved in ensuring the validation of that interface right. so there was consistency. And we're so you're doing QA, you're doing quality control quality on this thing. Quality control and validation, right. right. And so Vive might include a prop microprocessor as well as a bunch of other like video chips, things like that? So the Vive hardware is a dual core CPU. It will always be a dual core, a chipset, and, uh, and a variety of software and firmware that are part of making it all work together. Well, there you go, Vive inside, actually inside your living room. Uh, coming from Intel this year. This year, this, this quarter. Thanks so much, Doug, I appreciate it. You're welcome, my pleasure. So I'm here with the Summer from Flexity, and we're looking at the Power Squid. Now, yes, what we are. is this? Well, this is the evolution of the Power Strip because we all end up with that problem where we're plugging in our bulky transformers, which everything has now. I hate that. We all hate that. And the bulky transformers take up too many outlets. We end up with several power strips. Well, with this, the innovation here is that these are all on flexible arms, so you can plug in all the bulky transformers and get them all in there. Chris Hawker, the inventor of the power squid, actually you know, was suffering from the same problem that we all do, and it was out of truly needing the innovation in this department. Is this strictly a power bar solution or is there any talk about maybe bringing this into the world of uninterruptible power supplies? Well, there is talk of that. These are the surge protector versions and these will be available in spring and then we've already begun you know, filtering through many other ideas. These are just surge protectors at the moment, but they're high jewel ratings, connectivity, equipment insurance, a whole bit. And on this model, which is our flagship model, the Calamari, you get a couple bells and whistles, neon illuminated plugs. These are actually neon, so you can see in darker situations where you're reaching to. And on the opposite end, 
a rotating flat profile plug. Perfect. And uh, what is the price for this squid? We're beginning at $49.95. There's a couple models in between. The highest end here is $79.95. <laughs> Hey, I'm with uh, Craig from Mio, and I know where I am, yeah? Because Craig it works for this company that, it had, that uh, specializes on GPS and mobile gadgets. That's correct. Tell me a little bit about the, uh, what you guys are doing. Okay, so new at CES, we're announcing um, two units, the Mio C310 and the Mio C710. Right. And these are in-car units that uh, tell you where you need to go and are loaded with restaurants, um, clubs, Anywhere so okay, so this is a Windows CE device. That's correct. With GPS maps in in it on board. That's correct. Right. So um, with two two things, we're showing off future in the future device with a phone involved in it. So, so this is the phone here. This is the phone. All right. This is the in-car unit. Okay. And uh, yeah, basically this is the Uber gadget. You know, it's phone, GPS, and uh, Windows. Pop, you know, so you're uh, Windows C, so you can do whatever you need. Like, uh, but beyond that, there there is some real like besides finding out where you want to go. Because I mean, God knows I get lost all the time. Right. But uh, the things like you saying to me, what's your favorite restaurant? And yeah, sure. So I mean, the, the big part about it is not really where you are, but where you want to be or where you want to go. Be. Yeah, right. So it'll tell you if you love Thai food, you'll automatically know where all the Thai restaurants are all around where 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 you need to be. And <laughs> so you can say, device, find me Pad Thai. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is that right? right? Yeah, and I mean, on, on top of that, you can load it up with clubs, whatever you need to be. So uh, it just comes loaded with. More than two million points of interest. So if you can two million it, clubs you can go to on yeah, Friday right, night. Right. That's exactly in, it. You'll in the never U.S. Be lonely again, right? <laughs> when uh, uh, in the U.S. and Canada maps to the U.S. and Canada. Yes, maps to U.S. and Canada. So. And uh, eventually Europe. Uh, yep, available in Europe right now and Asia. So you know, if you if you're a big traveler, you can just load whatever map you need. You know, we have lots of fans in Dubai. Hi, Dubai. <laughs> So I'm here with Ben from Mac Store, and we're uh, looking at the new OneTouch 3. So Sean, what's great about this is we have a lot of folks today that are using video, using photos, music, and their digital needs are growing. So they need more space. So what we've come out with the Mac Store OneTouch 3 Turbo Edition is a one terabyte of storage capacity. A terabyte? One terabyte, so a thousand gigabytes. What's key here is if you look back here, I'm showing six video streams from, mm -hmm. the one, from this one terabyte solution. Okay. So that that is coming through what? Uh, through FireWire 800. FireWire 800. So there's three interfaces: USB 2, FireWire 400, and FireWire 800. Oh man, I'm so parched. Where's Andy? Hey man. Andy, hey, she not so loud. <laughs> Oh. Where were you last night? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh man, I'm tired of this show. You know, my feet are friggin' killing me. I just like so. <laughs> I can't even get that up in the camera. Ugh. Anyway, that's it for uh, us from Las Vegas for Thank another year. You. Thank God. I'm done. I'm done. I'm finished. I'm cooked. Um, I'm gonna go home and sleep for two weeks, I think. Yeah. So you're not gonna see us for a while. All right. Anyway, don't forget you can always download us at labrats.tv. Send an email to feedback at labrats.tv. Just not too loudly. Now do it quietly, please. Yeah. Are hey, you going to Advil? Yeah, I think so. Okay. It's back in the car. All right. All right. See ya. Bye.